Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Well, first things first, uh, let me ask you something, guys. If you are tired of the antics of for public safety and official misconduct and this lawsuit that they're apparently filing on several content creators and the ex-husband of the aforementioned official misconduct and you want to help somebody out with this particular incident but you don't know where to go, well, there is a... Uh, donation going out to uh, official misconduct's uh, uh, ex-husband, Bill, as he attempts to uh, fight this lawsuit that he has against him. I'm going to provide a link in the description below to a uh, GoFundMe page where Bill is attempting to collect some money for his legal defense against official misconduct and for public safety. So if you could uh, donate to the cause of the legal defense and stick it to those two idiots, that would be one step you could take in bringing these two idiots down and letting the justice system deal with them. Okay, now with that announcement out of the way, we find ourselves in Galveston, Texas, where uh, Lafayette County Audits once again gets arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. No, eminent domain was not a factor. It was on private property. And without the consent of the property owner, they had no reason in order to tow the vehicle. That is per... Um, Galveston Police Department policy manual, guys. There's a reason we read the policy manual. Everything we need to know about the police department, how they operate, has to do with the policy manual. Oh, a frauditor who claims to have read the actual policy manual. Well, I really doubt that you have uh, memorized or even read the entirety of the policy manual, considering that you frauditors can barely read anything at all, and that's been proven over and over again. And second of all, the dude in the center of the screen is the one who's about to be arrested for the second time in the past couple of days because, well, the first time he got arrested, it was for, uh, for uh, apparently driving while intoxicated, and the uh, now, he's got a warrant out for his arrest from uh, his home state of Mississippi, and they are about to arrest him for it here in Galveston. And he's going to be extradited back to his home state. So, have fun with that, dude. Oh boy, you're doing pretty damn good, frauditor. You've been in Texas less than two days and been uh, arrested twice already, and your vehicle's been towed away and getting twenty dot something like twenty dollars a day in impound charges. Oh man, you're doing just wonderful, frauditor, aren't you? But let's carry on and see what else happens here. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright. Help me guys. There's only one person there. Oh no, no. we got about two hundred people There's watching right now. On YouTube right now. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Watching y'all. Just two hundred. No, nope, there's a more incoming. I'd like to see the warrant. I'd like to see the warrant before Thank we you. continue. Do right, you want to just give them everything or you want to keep like You 
Uh, apparently, uh, you frauditors don't research argumentative fallacies, do you? Because there is one called the ad populum fallacy, which basically states that just because an argument appears to be the more popular among the public doesn't mean that it's necessarily the correct one. Case in point here, uh, just because you got two, 200 people watching this issue doesn't mean that it's going to affect the situation. In addition, how many of those 200 people are just watching, you idiots, for uh, the inevitable arrest that will take place when one of you morons gets uh, all up in the cops' faces over nothing? And how many of those... Uh, 200 are actually members of the uh, troll community, as you like to call us. At any rate, let's continue on. I'll take it all. Thank you. Dude, hey, what is your number two? Uh, well, I need you to... Uh, uh, can I write it down and give it to him? Yeah. yeah. I'll write down and give it to you. I need to see that. So were his keys just deployed to get him down here, or do y'all actually have his keys? Because we need those to get the vehicle out in town. Uh, this agency that has a warrant just called us and Okay, so, so I don't have the keys then? Cause that, that's not us, we just serve the ones. Okay. So we'll figure cool. that out or we'll find someone that What's your phone number, young man? Uh, it is 1040. I need to see, see this warrant before we continue. Well, well, at this point, I think Austin cuts out the audio on this video because, well, uh, Lafayette County Audits is just cussing up a storm and demanding to see the warrant and everything like that. So, yeah, I think uh, Austin did that just to make the video uh, suitable for family audiences. You know, so it can be monetized. You know, that kind of thing. Even the frauditors are trying to appease the YouTube gods at this point. I don't know what the warrant was for. They just grabbed him and uh, took him. So I guess GPD wants to act stupid again today. So uh, the uh, police officers acting on a warrant issued by another uh, state is being stupid. Uh, no, I don't think so, dude. They're just doing their jobs in uh, upholding the law. And if he had a warrant from Mississippi, then, well, dude, that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to extradite him back to Mississippi because, well, he apparently effed up in Mississippi. All right. Video here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, video here. All right, here we go again. Uh, looks like he's going to be getting transferred, I guess, back to uh, um, Lafayette County, Mississippi. That was the entire reason they gave him a felony warrant was to uh, make sure that he could not get this on down here. What was that? This is the reason why they don't actually have his keys. It was a ploy to get him down here. We knew exactly what was going to happen. I, I, we had a sneaky suspicion, guys, that that was going to happen. We were prepared for this. So, yeah. We located the, we located the keys at 11 o'clock at night. They didn't just get the phone call. They've been planning this all night long. This is conspiracy. Uh, conspiracy to violate rights, guys. It's always a conspiracy with you guys. Some, a conspiracy that you guys can never prove. But you know what? We understand. We understand that, uh, well, you don't have any evidence to back anything up that you say anyway. So it's okay. It'll get better. I got all of his property here, except for the keys to his vehicle. That's fine. I have all of his property this time, so nothing's going to be kept from him whenever he gets back out. They're violent criminal thugs. Why not ask what the warrant was for? He did. He asked what the warrant was for. He said, I want to see the warrant. And uh, 
I gave him my number so he could contact me. And I had to mute it. But we'll see what happens, guys. Yeah, we're going to see what happens to one of your criminal thug friends who decided to come to Texas to do some frauding. I've got all of his property in my pockets right now, so I'm trying to get that out. I'm going to go back in and see if they actually have his keys here or if it was a lie to get him down here. Because we just called the tow company. They didn't have his keys. And yes, that's all recorded. I'll be 100% honest with you. He told me that, uh, I believe her name is Candy Biebers, was colluding with the Galveston Police Department to put him back in jail. And he uh, was definitely under the impression that they were actively trying to get him put back in jail and that they were colluding. Now we have 100% fact that uh, they're colluding with Mississippi now. What you call collusion, I call a part of the justice system doing its job and staying connected with the different uh, state municipalities to get the job done. If you don't like it, tough shit, dude. That's the way it works. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will definitely see you on the next one.